In question 5, we are given that D, E and F are respectively the midpoints of the sides BC, CA and AB of a triangle ABC. So here's a figure I've drawn, drawn for you, triangle ABC in which D, E and F are midpoints of the sides. We have joined them and here's what we have to show. We have to show that the quadrilateral BDEF is a parallelogram. We have to show that the area of triangle DEF, this small triangle in the middle, is one fourth the area of triangle ABC. And we have to show that the area of BDEF is half the area of ABC. Okay, now in the first part, we have to show that BDEF is a parallelogram. So we are going to use the midpoint theorem to prove this. So F is the midpoint of AB and E is the midpoint of AC. Uh, this means that using the midpoint theorem, so using midpoint theorem, what can you say about the segment FE? So FE will be equal to half of the third side. So FE will be equal to half of BC, but half of BC is simply BD because D is the midpoint of BC. So we can say that FE is equal to BD and also FE is parallel to BC which means that FE is also parallel to BD. So in the quadrilateral BDEF, we have a pair of opposite sides FE and BD, which are equal as well as parallel. And this means that BDEF is a parallelogram. So BDEF is a parallelogram because in any quadrilateral, if one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So this proves part one. Now, now in part two, we have to prove that the area of DEF, the area of this green triangle is one fourth the area of the whole triangle, triangle ABC. To prove this, we will make use of the fact that the diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. So in part one, we proved that BDEF is a parallelogram. So it's diagonal FD divides it into two congruent triangles. So the green triangle DEF is congruent to the red triangle FBD. But similarly, just like we proved that BDEF is a parallelogram, we can also prove that, for example, AFDE uh, is a parallelogram. And this would mean that DEF is also congruent to AFE. And similarly, we could also prove that DEF is congruent to E, D, C. So basically what this means is that the four triangles that you see in, uh, in as part of the large triangle, they are all congruent to each other. So let's write this um, fact. So we have from the first part that the fact that B, D, E, F is a parallelogram. We can conclude that triangle D, E, F is congruent to triangle F, B, C and the uh, F, B, D and the reason is that the diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. Similarly, we can claim that uh, triangle DEF is congruent to triangle AFE and is also congruent to triangle EDC, triangle EDC. So observe all of these triangles and the order of the vertices carefully. So this means that all the four triangles are congruent, the four, four small triangles are congruent. So their areas are equal because congruent figures have equal areas. And this basically means that the area of DEF will be one fourth the area of uh, ABC because all the four small triangles have equal areas. So that proves part two. And now finally in part three, we have to prove that the area of BDEF, the parallelogram that we uh, discussed in the first part, the area of that parallelogram is half of the area of ABC. But this is actually straightforward. The area of BDEF will be twice the area of uh, DEF, the small triangle, the small green triangle in the middle. So BDEF has an area twice that of DEF. And we know that DEF uh, has an area that's one fourth the area of ABC. So instead of area of DEF, let's write one fourth the area of ABC. So we get twice of one fourth of the area of ABC. 
So that's half the area of ABC. So we get the fact that the area of BDEF is one uh, half of the area of ABC. That proves part three. And with this, all the parts of question five are done. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.